once upon a time in a small dark village at the foot of Catskill Mountain lived a man called Rip Van Winkle. Rip was the extremely lazy man. His favorite pastime only includes going to the inn with his friends or enjoying his time alone in the woods. Rip Van Winkle's wife was very upset with his irresponsible behavior. Rip Van there is no milk and bread in the house. Why can't you at least go to the market and bring some milk and bread? Oh, I'll do it later. Let me sleep a little more. Always sleeping or wasting your time with your other jobless friends in the inn. Why can't you at least go to the market and bring some milk and bread? Oh, don't start again. All the men of the village work hard and earn for the families. Only you sleep all day or wasting your time roaming around the cage. Don't you care for a family? I care, I care. I'm going right now to get a milk and bread. Give me some money. Here, what about starting to work? Okay, I'll also look out for a job. I'm leaving now. Come back soon. Don't go away, Roman. Yes, yes. Father, father, are you heading towards the village? Yes, Sophie dear. Do you want something? Yes, father. My school is such. All the men of the village to come and help with the village for building. All the day, my friends' fathers are helping to repair the school roof and the walls. Oh, I see. That's good. Can you also join them? Will you also help out my school too? Oh no, my dear. I have very important work to take care of. Maybe some other time. Okay, father. See you later, dear. Bye. Bye, father. I should get away from this village before someone else notices me and gives me some work. The practical stood to his lazy self, he scraped towards the mountain, planning to return late in the evening. But he met his neighbor on the way. Mr. Rep, have you been? Where are you off to with the dog? Oh, hello Mrs. Jackson. I'm fine. Just take my dog out for a walk. Long time since I saw you. Even though we are neighbors. Have you been working somewhere? Yes, yes. I was busy with some work in the adjacent village. I was very busy this whole week. Oh, I see! But your wife is my friend. She had requested me to ask my husband if there was any job for you in the village. Recently, the village gentleman is looking for an able man to come help in the construction of the village roads. All are being paid five pounds a day for the work. Oh, thank you so much. I shall think about it. It is really a good opportunity. You want that to go? Yes, yes. Thank you for the work offer. But right now I'm taking my dog out for a walk. I'll let you know later. Bye. Bye! Finally, I have reached the mountains away from everyone. I can sleep here and no one will pester me. Do this work, do that work. No one leaves me alone. Only you understand me, doggy. This looks like a good spot. So hot out here. Let's rest under the tree for a while. Mount Barber, I have a Mount Barber in 
Where were the magic potion? A magic potion indeed. Have a sip or two, and you will be merry. But don't drink any more of that. You must be wary. Old man, do you have anything to drink? I'm thirsty. Rip Van Winkle, welcome to my mountain. Of course, I have something for you to quench your thirst. So kind of you. Please give it to me. I'm really thirsty. Ha ha ha. No, young man, you will have to earn it. What do you mean? If you help me push this barrel up the mountain to my house, I shall let you drink a special potion in this barrel. Alright, I guess I'll help you. Really thirsty. Don't worry. If you listen to what I say, I shall let you drink a special potion in this barrel and eat as much as you want. They both pushed the barrel up the mountain and finally reached the mouth of the cave. The small old man goes in and comes out with a drinking bowl. Can I drink what was promised to me? Here you go. You can have the drink, but remember, have a sip or two, and you will be married. But don't drink any more of that. You must be wary. One. It's okay. I have. I will have a little more. Three, four, five, six. Oh dear, I think I slept here all night. What will I tell my wife? She'll get angry at me again. Doggy, doggy, where are you? Come back, we have to return home. Boy to his dog many times, but the dog did not come running to him. You must be chasing a squirrel. I'm sure he'll find his way back. I must get back home as soon as possible. In his vehicle, he saw different things. When he entered the village, he did not see a single known face. The villagers were looking at him with surprise. What's happening? Why does everything look so different? My wife will probably have the answers to this, to this strange phenomenon. Yes, old man. What do you want? Who are you? Whose house is this? I am Sophie. This is my home. My father disappeared 20 years ago. My mother passed away recently. And now I left my husband a child. Oh, Sophie. I am sorry, old man. We have nothing to give you right now. And I have a lot of work to do. Ready for it. 